Got another question for the equilibrium topic. So this one covers Le Chatelier's principle and has a KC calculation. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. So a slightly different way of asking this question. They're telling us what the ideal conditions are from Le Chatelier's principle for a high yield. We've just got to explain why they are the case. So starting with temperature, why is a low temperature going to give a high yield? Well, the forward reaction is exothermic. We can tell that from that minus delta H. So low temperature will favour this forwards exothermic reaction. And moving on to pressure, why would a high pressure favour the forward reaction? It's because we've got fewer moles of gas on the right. So only two moles on the right, but we've got three on the left. And now moving on to the second bullet point, why would the actual conditions be different in industry? Well, the problem with a low temperature is it results in a low rate of reaction. And the problem with a high pressure is it introduces a safety risk and it's expensive to achieve. Uh, moving on to part B now, so for the first bullet point, use the value of Kc to explain whether the equilibrium will be towards the right or the left. So you can see that the Kc value is less than 1, so that means the equilibrium is to the left. And moving on to the second bullet point, we've got to calculate the SO3 concentration in the equilibrium mixture. So the first thing we're going to need is the Kc expression, which looks like that. So all we need to do now is rearrange for the SO3 concentration, which looks like that. So we'll just put the numbers in now, which gives an answer of 0.876 moles per decimeter cubed.